Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. I'm down at the Las Vegas Convention Center at the International Builder Show 2020. I'm here with Anthony from Fast and Master. Hi, thanks how for, are you guys? Thanks for being here. Pleasure. Really appreciate it. You guys know how much I use Cortex, Ledger Lock, Timber Lock. We have so many different types of fasteners that we use. We love this brand. Anthony, tell us a little bit about the company. Tell us how it got started. What Thanks. do you know about this? Um, so my name is Anthony, obviously, and uh, I've been with the OMG and Fasta Master for 13 years as a product manager. Fasta Master, we, you know, as you kind of can see on my shirt up above here, pro-driven, you know, really means that to live it and breathe it, we have to understand the contractor. So the people and products of Fasta Master improve our professional contractor's business. We do that through field sales teams being on jobs with Jason and, and Dr. Dex, obviously. Uh, we also do it through product-driven innovation. Uh, giving solutions to the contractor. So probably the most important thing when I think about Fasta Master is, is the Ledger Lock s series. Uh, every deck that I attach to a house, I use this company's products to make sure it doesn't fall off and hurt somebody or kill somebody. So it's a very serious uh, industry we live in. People are dying every year on decks and safety is so important. Um, so. The one thing we use more of than anything else, we use a lot of Cortex, which is the color matching plugs. You guys see me hashtagging that all the time on Instagram, but also the Ledger Lock system and the new ones. Tell me about those. So another area where contractors came to us and said, uh, I would like uh, I would like your Ledger Lock. And it's a classic example of one of the areas where there wasn't a Ledger fastener prior to the Ledger Lock. But as we were on these decks, contractors, we watched them pre-drill twice and ratchet in a lag bolt and said, man, there's got to be a better mousetrap kind of specific to that application specific solution. So the flat head is just a, a progression of it. Some people love the hex head, some people like the flat uh, head, and, and really there's not a lot of uh, performance differences. It's more about um, aesthetics and uh, a little bit of the flat head can go flush to the ledger so you can hang your joist hangers kind of just anywhere you would want. All right, so pretty much you, you guys make some hidden fasteners. Yes, sir. They have several different ways of doing that. They make these construction legs. And then there's a few things that I'm not as familiar with that you guys make. Uh, you make a subfloor? Yes, we're actually standing on it right here. So um, subfloor, a stand-up, co-weighted tool. It's called PAMFAST. And the, the value proposition here is PAM drives screws everywhere you do. So it's a remodeler type of focus where a remodeler might be doing a kitchen or a bath where he's got subfloor, maybe a cement board, maybe drywall, decking, pressure treated. This gun can do it all. And it is a stand-up tool as well as collapses down to a, a drywall gun as well. All right, and also I noticed uh, you guys are really uh, breaking ground with the way you're tying roofs down uh, and rafters down to the stud walls Absolutely. without all the hardware. Yep. So um, briefly tell me about that. Brand new um, application for us and really a segment of new home construction, specifically in the framing world. And we're trying to bring that same application focus of solutions. So right now we're looking at the continuous load path from the rafter or the truss to the top plate, to the stud, all the way down to the sill plate. And you know, if you want to take a quick look, we have um, delivery systems that allow a contractor to do that more efficiently. Yeah, we'll get into that in a minute. Cool. But I think you wanted to show us uh, a new system, a new gun that you guys have, a hidden fastening gun? Same concept applies. So, you know, labor's tight right now in the industry. So delivery systems that provide efficiency. One is here for the framing. As you mentioned, we have one for decking as well. I want to see the one for decking. Let's All go right. take a look at the five shot. Cool. Let's All do right. it. Let's do it. All right. So now we are over at the Fusion Lock uh, section of their booth. And Anthony, I wanted you to talk a little bit about what the Fusion Lock is and what's the gun called? Awesome. The gun, the tool itself is called the five shot tool. Uh, it can actually hold 10 clips in the magazine and 200 what we call scrail. Uh, it's the spork of fasteners. It can be shot in like a nail and you can back out like a screw, which is uh, adds some nice versatility on the job site. And then and yeah, you're correct. The, the fastening system is called Fusion Lock uh, in partnership with AZEC and TimberTech. And really, it's a best in class speed and strength hidden fastening system. I'll show you how that goes down now. Awesome. Yeah, let's take a look. I want to see how this first. works. Yeah, safety first. Always wear those safety glasses. Everything is included into the tool. So you're going to have a magazine full of clips, and then you're going to have a coil of mm, scrail as well. Neato. All right. So, so, so one quick question about the gun, because mm -hmm. everybody's going to ask. Uh, you load five. You, they're, 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 the fusion lock is put together with five. There's five of them in a row. 
Yes. You can load one and then recoil the spring, and can you load a second one at the same time? Exactly right, yeah. Okay. So you, you load one and rack it, and then another one fits in the magazine right behind it. So technically, you can have 10 clips loaded at the same time, and then you have to recoil for the second five. Exactly right, yeah, okay. you just rack it again, and, and you uh, now awesome. engage that second clip. All right, let's, let's do this. Back. Let's show, show it how it's done. So he's got the gun nice and flat up against the joist, and he's going through and, and locking them in. Boom, that quick. And then you basically, once you get that board in and you get the clips in, you just take the next board and shove it in. Boom, you're done. And it's that easy. Then you just go back and you just keep repeating that process. So he just shot five, he just recoiled for the second five uh, clip that was in there. It's that easy. Wow. It's pretty, it's pretty quick. It's a fast system. It's fully removable as well, which was a very um, big attribute that we weren't really uh, keep, you know, we, we didn't know how big of a benefit it was going to be, but um, contractors, they can remove a board without damaging it. So let's say you have piping underneath. I know you do a lot of hot tubs and things mm -hmm. like that. We got to get to electrical easily to remove that board out and refasten it back down. Yeah, so you can actually pull the scrail up through the center of the boards where the boards meet together and be able to remove things. You get a branch or something, you scratch the deck, the kids drag the barbecue across the deck or something and make a big mess out of it. You can technically fix that deck. You have a handheld tool that complements this, correct? Yes. So in case you need to uh, add one or two, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> that was good. That was good. In case you have one or two screws that you need to uh, put in in a special spot without the gun where it won't fit or something like that. That's correct. And um, the magazine, you know, you basically can get up to about two boards to the house and then you want to use what our hand drive version is. And that's great for around uh, perimeters or, or posts, any kind of unique angles where the tool, you know, can't get into that's gonna be a nice attribute to it. And we have a really great first time user program where if a contractor buys the tool, we're gonna to give them 500 square feet worth of clips, wow. inclusive of that hand drive guide as well. So I'm um, really excited about it. This is the year we're um, you know, really gonna to start to make some headway with Fusion Lock and the Five Shot Tool. Okay guys, I'm back with Anthony and we're gonna show you a few more products that we use and a couple new ones that he's excited about. Uh, so Anthony, take it away. Awesome, so uh, part of one of the things you guys do is offer a completely hidden fast and deck you know so that's kind of the extension here we do have cortex and you've probably seen it for the surface of the deck one of the new products we just came out with is actually for the fascia board which is designed to allow for expansion and contraction while delivering you that hidden fastened look we'll go through the system right now sweet so the kit is sold as a complete kit when you open this box up you're gonna have everything you need to fasten your fascia screws plugs made of the same board material this is a counterbore bit, and this is really where the magic happens. So this is going to cut a hole oversized for the shank of the fastener, allowing for that expansion contraction, as well as a hole for the plug. And then we have a set tool, a revised set tool, that's going to allow you to set this screw at the proper depth. Awesome. Okay, Let's sure. see how it works. So first you're going to see a counterbore, then we're going to switch into uh, driving the screw, and then we're going to tap the plug in. Perfect. All right, so here goes the counterbore. That was quick. Yeah, it's a quick install. And when you take a quicker look in there, you can kind of see the two levels of depth. And that gives it a little bit of room for the fascia to move as, as it gets hot and cold. Exactly, about a 16th of an inch in diameter, um, you know, overall for the movement. The other unique feature that's not different from our other Cortex systems, but that Torx T-Tap drive system acts as a third hand. So this is a non-magnetic bit. And, you know, with fascia, as I'm sure Deck Andy Deck or yourself knows, you know, you have to kind of hold this thing at the same yeah. time. So it's challenging and we just think about the contractor in that respect. One hand operation is awesome. So that goes to the proper depth every time. And then let me grab a plug with some nice grain on it here. This is Trex Transcend Fascia. And we're gonna give it a nice tap. Wow, lickety splits, look at that. 
It's so that easy. It's that easy. You know, it's guaranteed for the life of the project. Uh, and it, what we just came out with, this was uh, new in 2019, but we just came out with a color match version as well. And uh, we have 18 colors there. You know, so sometimes people want the Cortex on the side, and, and there are other times where it's still surface fastened. None of your projects, but uh, there are some <laughs> out there. And uh, we have a, the same value proposition where it still allows for expansion contraction, um, but there's 18 colors available to really match the, the fascia perfectly. Awesome. All right, so what else do you want to show us? I think we should go over to the, the lock line section. So we have two different divisions of our, of our brands here. This is more on the decking side. Now we're going to go show you the structural side. Awesome, let's go. All right, so we're over here, probably one of my favorite fasteners. These are construction legs, different lock series. Anthony's going to show us some of the cool uh, products that they have for putting things together and keeping them together. That's right. Uh, guaranteed for the life of the project. Um, one of the things that I had mentioned out of the gates in this interview was application specific. And that's really where our fasteners shine. When we think about a ledger application or an engineered lumber application, there are certain features that have to go into that fastener to give you the performance benefits. So Ledger Lock was one of our first fasteners in that mentality, part of the lock line, and it meets code, lowers cost. So what we're doing here is replacing a half inch lag bolt into the ledger application. And uh, there's two different versions of ledger lock that we're showing here. Like one with a hex head, one with a flat head. Flat head is brand new. And one of the, um, this is actually got a drive system called a Torx T-Tap. Same on the Cortex, but a little bit wider, uh, larger. And just allows you a really nice stick fit application. The main benefit of having the flat head here is that you can set up your joist hangers virtually wherever you want and you don't have to worry about, you know, having oh, a hex head yeah. get in the way. We've had that issue before and these really keep it clean. Awesome. So let's drive this thing in and show yeah. you how fast it show goes. It. Lickety splits, look at that. So there you go, basically a half inch carriage bolt, uh, excuse me, half inch lag bolt replacement um, without having to pre-drill. It's code compliant, um, it's you know zinc plated and, and uh, guaranteed for the life of the project. And these are um, pressure treated compatible as well, correct? Very much so, ACQ compliant. I mean, we, we really uh, work hard to stay up in tune with all the new chemicals that are going into the, the treated lumbers. But um, yep, an ICC certification as well. Um, the other quick thing that with all of our boxes of product, when you open it up, of course these have been gone through at the trade shows, um, but we typically have technical information. So these are gonna tell you how to fasten your ledger. And if your code official has challenges, well, a lot of the information that they're looking for is right here. So it's on the job, in the box, ready for the contractor. I know that um, a lot of times when I'm pulling permits, uh, your products are already specced in their lists. And that's what's really nice about this brand is they've already made the effort to go through the local jurisdictions and get their products listed as an approved fastener for ledgers and holding things together, doubling up joists, things that we do that can really take a toll if you don't use the right fasteners. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. I really appreciate Anthony. Thank you so much for having us. Uh, we're down here again at the International Builders Show. If you ever get a chance to come to one, uh, I recommend it. There's so much here to see. You can come and check out these products face-to-face uh, -face and test them out. These guys are showing it right in front of you doing live demonstrations. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much. Have a great day.